Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com with a tip for you on how to make delicious movie theater popcorn at home. And I have to admit, I have yet to run across someone who doesn't love the flavor of movie theater popcorn. Well, on this video, we're going to show you how to make that movie theater popcorn at home and perhaps make it a little bit healthier. This is the way that most people cook popcorn today in a microwave oven, but it's not necessarily the best way to make homemade movie theater popcorn. Before we show you how to season your microwave popcorn to make it more like movie theater popcorn, we thought we would tell you that we discovered the best way to make movie theater popcorn at home is to use a hot air popper. Using a hot air popcorn popper is just a little bit healthier because no oil is needed to pop the popcorn. Whatever method you use to make your popcorn, the odds are pretty good that you're going to have some leftover uncooked popcorn kernel. A good way to separate the popcorn from the uncooked kernels is to use a small sheet pan with a small sheet pan rack. The small rack has little holes that allow the kernels to fall through. If you don't have a small pan and rack like this but would like to purchase one, we'll put an affiliate link in the video description. Now the only way you will be able to make movie theater popcorn at home is you have to use the same type of salt flavoring that they do in the movie theater. Here's some that we found on our grocery store shelf. This brand we picked up at our local Sam's Club and it is very consistent with the movie theater flavor. Now the way that we get that movie theater flavor at home is that we spray the popcorn lightly with a coat of butter flavored Pam. This acts as an adhesive or glue to hold our salt seasoning on it. Then we put another sheet pan on top, flip it over, and do the same on the other side. Mm -mm -mm. When's the movie start? Mm -mm -mm. Well, there you go, folks. Delicious movie theater popcorn at home, and it couldn't be easier. Now, if you learned something here today, I invite you to subscribe so that when we post another video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.